says in relation to schools further developing in collaboration with young people the design of relationship and sex education which is accessible, inclusive and age and developmentally appropriate in the context of changes to mandatory consent. You're aware of the highly controversial nature of some of those changes. Can you explain the role of the Executive Office in relation to them? So can, can you just refresh my memory on what, uh, what changes... Is, is this the Secretary of State's changes in relation to uh, abortion content? Well, it's 2.2 in schools, and I'm reading a paragraph, and that's really what I'm trying to uh, bring out of ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, Geraldine. Well, I, I think, I mean, I've outlined what our role will be. Our role is working with education providers and convening that group and looking at what best practice is. Yes. And um, we're not there to usurp the, the role of other, um, of other departments, but we will be there to provide... Um, EVOG expertise and a lens in, in that environment. Um, the intention of that forum is to ensure that um, young people um, can have health and, sa and, and safe relationships. It's much wider than RSE. It's much wider. It's about how people behave, what they expect of behaviours, um, all, all of those attitudes. So I think you shouldn't look at that in a narrow lens. It's much more expansive than that. Will that take into account parents from a family unit that feel that they should be the ones deciding what their child is exposed to? Well, as I said, we're keen to work with the education providers, but we have also, and I think we've demonstrated this through, we've worked through, we want to work with parents, we want to work with governors, we want to work with um, young people, we want to work with youth workers because um, this, is, it, this is not doing things to people, it is working with them to work out the best method of delivery and, and how we bring this, this, this issue forward. We will be supported by an insights and reference network um, building on the, the, the co-design group that we are um, that, that successfully piloted this the development of the strategy through so everything which we do will have reference to lived experience and to those working in particular sectors um, there will then need to be an action plan coming from that group <coughs> and the department of education and the, <coughs> the statutory remit in particular areas will be involved in the delivery of that yeah. uh, this morning i met with the women's right network um, and they raise concern that within this document there is no definition of what a woman is. Um, is that deliberate? Can you set out what the executive office, what the definition of a woman is in the executive office and uh, can you show me where that's listed anywhere? So this is, uh, relates to a question that you've, you've asked before I think. Um, our, our focus is on prevention and tackling the root causes of violence against women and girls. The problem is the violence and, uh, and, and the intention to hurt. So it's that intention that, that we think should be our focus. Well, is there a definition of what a woman is in the executive office? There, there isn't a definition. Uh, there isn't a definition I think you'll find commonly uh, in in, in government documents of, of ordinary words in the English language. The document is talking in language of gender rather than sex. Um, on page 48 of the document, it talks about co-design partners. Um, would you describe any of those critics of modern gender theory? If not, is that an omission by the department? And will you commit to engaging to the engaging with the women's rights network going forward? We can come back to you on uh, the contact that we've had with the women's rights network so far, uh, if that would be helpful. And if you haven't had any contact with them, is that a commitment you're willing to make that you will engage with them going forward? Um, we'll see who, who 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 the members are, and I think we've 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 had contact with most people who have views in the field in Northern Ireland. So uh, it'll be good to see uh, who, who, who's in that space uh, and, and uh, whether, whether there's a, a gap there. 
I'm going to move on because I didn't get 